I'm about to eat a candy bar. So why would I need a spoon? Because this candy bar comes in a form like we've never seen before. Welcome back, goblins and goblinettes. Destin Goblin here again with another edition of Destined to be Goblin. This is where I will try a food product of some kind and decide whether or not I should give it my Destined Goblin seal of approval. Now, as always, if you would be so kind as to like this video, share this video, comment on this video, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate all of those things. And if you would like to reach me for any reason, you can do so through my email. That is destinedgoblin at yahoo.com. I will do my best to respond to each and every one of those emails that you send me, and I will definitely take every suggestion that you make to heart. All right, today we have a brand new product, a brand new type of product. Uh, this showed up in my grocery store. And uh, this is actually Winn-Dixie that I found these at, although I have seen them uh, in other grocery stores now too. Um, they are called Colliders. And they come to us from, uh, I believe it is Kraft that uh, overall makes these products. Um, but I will double check on that and uh, I'll put the graphic up uh, of exactly who makes this. Um, but they come in a lot of different flavors. And uh, these are a type of dessert now that is uh, mixed with a candy bar. And some of them have candy bar pieces in there. Some of them have the flavors of a particular type of candy bar in there. Um, they're all a little over $2 and you get a two pack. You can see that uh, these come in a two pack right here. And um, they're a little over $2 a piece. But Win dixie had these on sale this week, and um, I looked at them, and I thought, you know, this would make a really good review, and I really want to try these, but I was torn over which one to get because, because they come in a lot of different flavors. So I got them all. Uh, I'm not going to try them all right here, but uh, I got all of them, and I will show you all of them, uh, and then I will actually try one of these products. So they all look like they're around 200 calories per dessert. Uh, this particular one here is 200 exactly. Uh, there are some that are about 220, 210, 190, all in that range, so all pretty close uh, in range. This is interesting because I'm not exactly sure what the base is of this. Uh, it is listed as a dessert, a flavored dessert, and um, you, there's really no further explanation on that. Uh, obviously, we know what the candy flavor is going to be. Some of them do have the candy pieces in it, as I've said, uh, but I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be more like a pudding or more like a yogurt or more like uh, a flan or whatever. So we will find that out together. So we've got a Rolo flavor. Uh, we have, and this Rolo flavor is a caramel flavored dessert with rich milk chocolate topping. Uh, then we have a Hershey's chopped, and this one is chocolate flavored dessert with dark chocolate pieces in there. So it's got little bits of the, the Hershey's candy in there as well. We have a s'mores flavor, and this is another chopped. This one is a marshmallow flavored dessert with milk chocolate pieces and graham crumbles. So that one sounds kind of interesting. That one's a little bit different. Uh, then there is a Heath uh, twisted flavor. And this one is vanilla flavored dessert with Heath crumbles. Uh, so that has a vanilla base right there. Then we have a Kit Kat flavored uh, collider. This is another twisted. This is vanilla flavored dessert with Kit Kat crumbles. So that one has those candy pieces in there also. And you can see some of them come with the, the pieces on the top so you can mix them at the, the last second there. And then the one that I'm gonna try here, and I'm gonna try this one because it is so different from all of the others. This is the Reese's Collider's chopped flavor peanut butter flavored dessert with milk chocolate pieces. So this actually has a peanut butter base. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. This is the one that's 190 calories. So this is also the lightest uh, in calories out of all of them. Um, go ahead and open this up here and uh, take one of these out. And so there we go. So as you can see, there is your dessert right there. You get the little chocolate pieces separate. You mix it in with your dessert. I'm going to remove that topping, and uh, I'm going to attempt to remove that, that topping. 
Uh, we all know that I do have some problems with packaging sometimes, so there we go. So you get a little step-by-step -step instruction in there. You're uh, supposed to just flip this right in, obviously. So there is the, uh, the base comes with a nice little label on it also. Let's go ahead and open up that dessert. And we will take that top off. Okay, and then we will go ahead and remove that packaging from those chocolate pieces right there. And here comes the official flip. There we go. Pieces have been uh, put into the dessert right there. And we will stir this all up. And we will see what kind of flavor we get. Now this is, again, this is Reese's flavor. So I am curious to see if this has the flavor of Reese's peanut butter. The, the dessert base itself is supposed to have that peanut butter flavor. Obviously, it looks like peanut butter. It has the consistency. I don't know if you can tell that or not on the camera, but it actually has the consistency of like a pudding, like a pudding would. Um, I wasn't sure if this would be more like ice cream or yogurt or pudding or what, but it does look like it has the consistency of kind of like pudding. I'm going to go ahead and take a spoonful of that. I got a lot of those chocolate chunks in there. There is all of that peanut butter dessert base. Let's see what the flavor's like. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Strong peanut butter flavor. Um, nice crunch from the chocolate. Obviously, these are meant to be kept in the refrigerator, so the chocolate gets nice and um, crunchy. Um, the, uh, the, the chocolate hardens up a little bit in the fridge, and it um, makes for a nice crunch to that. It's kind of like uh, adding uh, some uh, chocolate chips or something like that to a pudding. This is good. Let's try again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really nice um, peanut butter flavor to it. Really nice chocolate flavor in there. Very reminiscent of um, a uh, uh, Reese's cup. Um, a little bit more authentic than some of the other Reese's uh, products that I've tried lately that have been trying to replicate that flavor and maybe haven't quite pulled it off. Um, this is really good. These I, I will highly recommend these. These are fantastic. Seal of approval without a doubt. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, brand new product. These are called Colliders. They are in your grocery stores in the dairy section. I found these right next to the yogurts. Uh, so check them out. Little over $2 or so seems to be the average uh, for one of these packages. You do get two of them in a package. Lots of different flavors out there. I don't think this is a limited time uh, item. I think this is a, a new product. Go check these out. These are really good. I'm going to keep eating this one. Thank mm -hmm. you.